What is going on guys? It's your boy Void here and today I want to talk about something that a lot of people have asked me mostly on LinkedIn. So a lot of people they watch the movies about Google they hear things about oh the slides are so cool and the free food and free baristas and while all this is true a lot of people want a work culture similar to that and they ask me how do you get a software engineering internship at Google and what is the the process like so I'm gonna go through here and give you guys the whole rundown of what the process of interviewing for Google was like as well as kind of share my personal experiences with it since I've been through it fairly recently so because we're computer scientists we're starting with step number zero and step zero is going to be make sure your resume is on par like not even on par it has to be above par there are so many people applying to Google. Your resume has to stand out from all the other people that are applying because otherwise you're not giving yourself the opportunity sh to show them what you're made of. And if you're made of a lot, you got the technical chops. You have to make sure your resume is good. Otherwise, you're doing yourself an injustice. Um, so, okay, on to step one. So the step one, the first thing in the actual Google process once you've gotten your resume round past you're going to be given a coding challenge and that's becoming pretty popular nowadays um, but there are differences between each company so with google they give you two questions 90 minutes so 45 questions uh, 45 minutes per question you are expected not to get all the test cases right actually like i'm it, it does help to get more test cases right but you don't absolutely need them these coding uh, challenges are actually looked at they make sure to look at your code make sure it's clean is it modularized and I know this because I did not pass all the test cases yes I did pass the majority of them but I was failing some but I think I compensated for that by having modularized code with comments and just very well structured so make sure you're doing that um, it really does count and also makes you a better programmer in the long runs because once you start getting into these face-to-face -face interviews you want to have these good habits of having nice clean code next thing let's say you get past this coding challenge you're doing really well at this point you now only have one large stage between you and a Google Suite internship offer um, so this next part is going to be two technical interviews, 45 minutes each on the phone through a Google Doc, and they are going to they're going to call you and schedule these back to back. So you're going to have a 45 minute interview, 15 minute break, a 45 minute interview. And that seems kind of intense, but it's not always a bad thing. That first one can really like get you going for the second one. For for me for example, I remember I was in my college apartment. I had two other roommates that were in the living room. They were wishing me good luck throughout my interview. I went into my room, did my first interview, and I could not solve the problem. It was a hard problem. I couldn't figure it out. And I just felt terrible about that interview. I went out into the living room and I told them, I was like, man, that was the worst interview I have ever done. I don't want to go back in there for the second one. But it was already scheduled, thankfully. And I went to the second interview. I didn't feel too great going in. But when I started talking to the person, I got the question, I started feeling a lot better. I was able to connect with the person better. I was able to optimize my code and finish it and write test cases, all the good stuff that you're supposed to be able to do in an interview. Um, and I don't know. It was just such a good experience. Um, I think I just connected really well with the, inter the second interviewer. And that made such a good experience for me that really rebounded like how I felt about the whole experience as a whole. So at this point, I wasn't sure if I was going to get moved on because I felt like I had one bad one and then one really good one. Um, they did end up moving me on. So if you get past these two technical interviews... You can now, you're, you're good. Like 
you got past the hardest part and now you're not done but you're done preparing for interviews so this next part is called the hiring committee so google tries to remove bias from their hiring decisions so they have like this third party hiring committee uh, formed of like 10 to 20 people who will make decisions on whether they should feel comfortable extending an offer to a given candidate. Um, that way it removes the bias from individual interviewers doing that. And so they will gather, they will look at your interviewer feedback as well as your application, and they will judge you based off of this, much like your family at Thanksgiving. Most people don't have a hard time getting past hiring committee from what I've heard. Um, the only thing that sucks is it does take, make the process take a little longer. So if you have deadlines, make sure you convey that with recruiters. Make sure you start the Google interview process early. So let's say you make it past hiring committee. Are you good? Or do you get the offer? Well, not quite. So there's still a phase called team matching. So Google is going to send you a questionnaire that's going to ask you like, what skills do you have in the field of computer science? Um, it'll ask you like what you want to work in, what locations you want, um, additional info, passions, all that stuff. And they're going to put this into a database with everyone that has passed their technical interviews and everyone who is in this pool of host matching. And if I'm a Google manager or Google host, um, I'm going to look through this database for people who have skills that match with whatever project I'm thinking of. And I'm going to interview a few of them. So these are gonna be like 15 minute long phone interviews with the host. It's all soft skills, no technicals. They're gonna tell you about the project, tell them about themselves you're supposed to tell them about yourself as well as your experiences and what you are hoping to learn now there is a certain aspect of like personality match which is a huge thing i think so just make sure in general that you're friendly with these and you're open-minded to your projects if you only want an ai ml internship it's going to be hard everyone wants those so if your goal is to work at google make sure you have an open mind um, the thing that sucks about host matching though, it is possible that after all those technical interviews, you don't actually get an offer. And that's pretty unfortunate because it's hard to get to this point. Now I haven't heard of this happening a lot, but it is a possibility. So from my experience, I was actually able to talk to my Google recruiter and I told them, hey, I have a Microsoft deadline. I can't say no to Microsoft for something that maybe will give me an internship. Like, I am not willing to take that risk on. And they proposed a guaranteed route, which is where they guarantee you an offer. Um, you're not guaranteed a specific team. You're not guaranteed a location outside of Mountain View, which is like their headquarters in the Bay Area. Um, so I told them that that was fine with me. I just wanted to be able to try out Google. And I did end up actually getting my location preference of Boston and trying that out. So that was really great. It were, everything worked out really well for me there. So if you have an offer from another big company, you can tell the, the Google recruiters this, see if maybe this guaranteed route is an option for you at all. Um, if you didn't get the offer, well, you really have to evaluate why you didn't get it. They're not allowed to give you feedback, but if you put a, put a comment down below, if you are interested in some feedback, um, if you tell me like what stage of the interview process you got to, I would be happy to tell to link you to some resources, whether that be like some stuff to add to your resume, personal projects, uh, maybe some like actual technical interview resources, other videos I have perhaps. But just let me know, know down below 
where you got to the in the interview stage and if you got that offer let me know i want to celebrate with you um but yeah if you end up matching with a host you are now a google suite intern congratulations all right thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to match back with me by clicking that subscribe and like button and i will see you guys later